Hello everyone and welcome to my vlog number 2. So I made it through my very first craft fair and today I'll be sharing my experience and my last minute preparation. And I'll also be unboxing a square card reader so stay tuned for this calm with chaotic vlog. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Leonard. my name is Nicola and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't seen my previous video, I've been talking about how I set up the entire table with all my displays, all my product. And in today's episode, I'll be doing last minute preparations because I've got around 10 days left to make sure I've got everything ready to go. Most of the stuff is already here behind me in a trolley, but I still have a couple things I need to finish. I need to cut a little bit more bookmarks. I need to prepare all my keyring and that's pretty much it. So let's get to it. So this is what you get in the box. So you've got power plug, you've got power adapter, you've got a roll, user manual, and you've got the terminal. It's a little bit heavy, but it's nothing bad. It's it's okay. So I've already made um, some of the categories on the website. I'm still gonna be changing it because my prices are different from my Etsy and from my craft fair. If you want to test print your receipts, you just go to settings, you go to hardware, printer and print test. There is a sticker that comes with it, which is really good and the stickers are actually double-sided so if you have like an acrylic glass, it will be from both sides. I wanted to say I do apologize for the video quality, I'm currently using my phone for videos. Hopefully in the future I'm gonna be getting a camera. Most likely I'll be getting stand for this phone first, just because it's a cheaper option before camera. So hopefully you'll get different and better angles of me creating stuff as well because so far everything is just from the top. <laughs> Taking these videos as a learning curve uh, because my English could massively improve for sure and my speech isn't the best either. So I'm just hoping that these videos will help me eventually to improve all that. So bear with me please, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> And there's the freebie and since this is going to someone I know, I'm gonna give an extra freebie in. And I always include my thank you card. Someone just ordered the banner from me, yay! So let's pack the banner as well. Since the banners are more expensive, I always give an art print and I give a holographic sticker with it. So, I didn't notice. I just saw the first banner on the order and I didn't notice the full order. It's just my mistake, I should have checked. But whoever ordered four banners 
not one, not two, four banners from me. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have no words. Uh, let's repack it then. <laughs> it's currently 15 minutes past midnight, but I realized one of the banners is missing because I haven't got it printed. So let's print it. Look at it, that this person literally ordered four bunnies. She ordered the purple one, the underwater one, the floral one, and the one with the stars. Thank you so much. That is me done for today. I am so tired. I didn't think I'm gonna stay awake till this time, but oh, just first, <laughs> thank you so much again. And I'm not the only one ready for bed. My task for today is gonna be drilling holes in all of these key rings and attaching them so they are all ready for the fair. And I'm finally done with all of these. It took me entire day. I just need to count all of these now and I need to put it in my card machine. The reason to why I'm cutting all of my bookmarks by hand is because when I got these bookmarks uh, from the company, the borders were off cut. I emailed the company and I asked them if I could have it on a sheet like this or laminated so I can cut it myself. And they were willing to do that for me, so I got all these sheets of bookmarks in my drawers. all my bookmarks except these because I run out of silver bucks but uh, these are all ready This is where I have to stop it for tonight because I need to go sleep. It's currently 11 p.m. and I work tomorrow so goodbye. See you tomorrow. It's the next day. I just finished my work and I'm gonna continue on this little kitty catty. And I've got Safi here trying to eat whatever's left from the hot chocolate with cream. <laughs>
Alright, everything for the craft fair is currently ready. I've got everything packed. Let's skip a few days forward and see the craft fair itself. Very positive. Yeah? Positive thoughts. You're gonna have a hamster in there? <laughs> I just arrived from my very first craft fair and I want to share the experience with you while it's still fresh in my head. Um, right off the batch I would say the center was very small so I didn't really expect a big food folder which is exactly what happened. I'm happy I went to this craft fair because it kind of pushed me time wise to set everything up, to buy all the displays, to buy the card machine and have everything ready for my future craft fairs and also to prepare all of my stock in advance because most of the time when I sell stuff I sometimes do things as I go instead of having everything ready in advance so this really helped me to prepare everything and now it's ready in my drawers ready to go I think I need to do differently next time I need to bring my business card um, I had this QR code with me I showed you in my last video however nobody really scanned it it's either it was displayed wrong or people just don't use QR codes so next time if I bring this I'm still gonna bring my business cards and just put it next to it would I go again on this craft fair specifically? no will I do craft fairs in the future? definitely yes it was a good experience even though I didn't bring many sales uh, just because now I've got the general idea of how long it took me to set everything up what I need to do differently next time, I got a lot of information out of it and I got to meet new people. I would like to thank everyone who stood by my stall, who purchased something for me and there was a lot of people complimenting on my stall and I'm absolutely happy because I've poured my soul and heart into it. So it makes me really happy that people actually liked my setup. So thank you so much. And just to break down how much I earned on this craft fair, I am not counting expenses like table and displays and my banner because that's something I would invest in eventually for all my future craft fairs. So what I'm gonna be counting is the table hire which was 20 pounds and I made 52 pounds in total on card sales and minus the transaction fee it's 50 pounds and 58 pence in total. I did a couple of sales on Etsy while I was in the craft fair so I didn't completely lose the money. So all of my packages are packed and they are now ready to send. And in the next video I'll be showing you how I make these pin displays. And I'll also be doing these ball keychains. So subscribe, like, hit the notification bell and we will see you in the next one. Love you, bye!